I'll be there. So, no, it'll definitely be a blessing if I get my name called. With the 25th pick in the 2015 NBA Draft, the Memphis Grizzlies select Jarrell Martin. Jarrell Martin, born May 24, 1994. Today's feature really could have been a star had the things we're about to talk about not happened. He had all the tools for a power forward to thrive in today's game. Height, athleticism, super high motor, meaning his energy and work ethic on the floor was always up by default, allowing him to fly around on both ends, ending in the right places at the right time. What I liked most about Martin was he also had game to go with his effort. So much so, I believe had all the things go well, he could have even evolved into playing a little small forward at some point in his NBA career. He was fluid enough to move like a wing, had handle, step backs, a pull up jumper, counter moves for second defenders, and when he arrived at the rim, he usually finished with a certain energy that reminded you sometimes of a young Amari Stoudemire. In today's game, in the right situation, Jarrell Martin could have been an asset to numerous teams. Instead, after just his rookie contract, he was out of the league and beginning his journey across the globe trying to turn this thing he's dedicated his life to into a career. At 21 years old, Martin was a first round pick by the 55 win Memphis Grizzlies who only needed three seasons before they realized he wasn't going to be a part of their future like hoped. His next NBA team, the Orlando Magic, needed just 42 games before they let him walk in 2019, making that likely the last time we'll see if Jarrell Martin could capitalize on the insane potential he had as an amateur. He didn't even begin playing organized basketball until late in high school, but by the end of his time there, he was a McDonald's All-American, the highest honor a high school player can receive signifying you're one of the best 24 players in the country at that level. Usually with that praise, a prospect is catapulted straight to the NBA after making a brief stop in college basketball or some other new alternative route. At LSU, he went from one of the best freshmen in the country to most improved a year later, becoming a double-double machine that was still rough around the edges and with a little grooming, expected to blossom into a versatile weapon on both ends of the floor for the right NBA team. The thing about Jarrell though, was so much had to go exactly right and when he got to the league, almost none of it did right out the gate. His career lasted 184 games with his best opportunity coming during the 2017-18 season. A make or break year that Martin failed to show drafting him was not a mistake. Opportunity is scarce, but when it comes and you're not prepared, you may never get that again. What happened to Jarrell Martin's potential? Salute to Trippy Dre on IG for this request. It's your boy JC Stunning Growth. Let's get it, man. Take a minute to like, subscribe, and comment on who I should do next. Jarrell Martin is a 6'10 power forward from Baton Rouge, Louisiana that didn't play organized basketball until he was a sophomore in high school. Always tall and growing fast, the coaches at his high school would see Jarrell and invite him to come to practice. He'd promise to go but never show up. The next day, he'd always have a new excuse as to why he couldn't make it. Turns out Martin was dealing with issues at home, his mother being a single parent and he most times having to look after his little sister. Eventually they got him on the floor and with some consistency and a target goal in mind, he blossomed almost right away like a natural and became not just the team's best player by senior year end but Mr. Basketball in the entire state and a McDonald's All-American, a top three player at his position, headed to in-state LSU. Stunt number one, bad feet. Woodgood is a sportsman that can't walk to the match. Even though Jarrell Martin was a late bloomer, he caught up rather fast to his pairs and passed a lot of them. But in doing so, he may have injured his working tools in the process. The most important, his feet. For a player like Martin, you take away his athleticism and his ability to use his high motor and energy, and what exactly do you have? 
a player that belongs nowhere near the NBA. Those were the bread and butter for Martin, except injuries to his feet kept him on the sidelines more than expected, never playing a consistent amount of games in the league without being taken out of the lineup for underperforming, mainly due to he could barely walk. At LSU, Martin came in an athletic specimen used to dominating his competition. He averaged 10 points and 5 rebounds in 26 minutes a game as a freshman, being named to the all-freshman team. In year two, he upped his scoring by 6 points and almost doubled his rebounding in 35 minutes a game, helping the Tigers to the tournament, their first in five years. His decision-making still needed work averaging more turnovers than assists as well as his timing on block shots and his free throw shooting. But the Grizzlies saw just enough in the sophomore to take him with the 25th overall pick in 2013. Four days after spending a first round pick on Martin, he revealed he had a stress fracture in his foot and couldn't play in their summer league. He injured his foot again working out during the summer, making it two foot injuries before the season even began. He made his debut months later, December 18th, and was clearly a lot slower and less athletic than he had been in the past. An injury to the lower extremities for a player like Martin who needs his legs and feet to perform can completely change a career course like it did in this case. It also took away important development time for the late bloomer. Stunt number two, Opportunity in Memphis. Yes, he had a late start as a professional, late start almost being synonymous to the name Jarrell Martin, but what was even more at play was when he was healthy enough to take the floor was him lacking on-floor opportunity for Memphis, who didn't really have a readied role for him. The Grizzlies still had Zach Randolph and Marc Gasol manning the four and five spots, the two Martin was drafted to play. Mark at 34 a game and Zach 30 minutes a game. Not to mention, they also had Jeff Green, who is basically the ceiling of what Jarrell Martin should have been. An athletic rim runner that can also shoot, but mainly used to fly around on both ends and be in the right place at the right time for opportunity. With the injuries and limited early experience, Martin was playing behind the eight ball. He also had Brandon Wright, Matt Barnes, Jermichael Green, and more all vying for one of the big man spots and Martin was kind of the odd man out. Memphis drafted him thinking they were getting a high flyer that could strengthen their front court with his motor and young energy, but he came in damaged and his opportunity was limited because of it. He was sent to the D-League multiple times in his stint with Memphis before they traded him to the Orlando Magic summer 2018. Stunt number three, not good enough for the NBA level. Sometimes what went wrong with a player isn't that deep. In some cases, they actually aren't good enough for that level and that's that. In Martin's case, I think pre-injury he would have been, but he came in hobbled in one of the worst ways an injury to his foot, arguably the most used part of the body. But for athletes, you aren't going anywhere fast with injuries like such. By the time he hit the NBA floor, he was slightly a different player than expected. He did improve his free throw shooting and decision making from college to the pros, but those just weren't enough. He still struggled creating for himself or others on drives, and when he was doing well in those areas, it was few and far between. In his most used season, he averaged just 7.7 .7 points and 4.4 rebounds in 23 minutes a game. That's production of a journeyman player, not one teams keep around. Orlando did not re-sign him after 2018-19 as he made his way to the Cavs who waived him months later without any games played before it was off to places like Australia and now Israel for better opportunity. All in all, it's unfortunate Jarrell Martin didn't get the initial opportunity due to injury and the wrong team drafting him, but he did have four years on a first round pick contract and made a level many never do. He's still playing basketball and making basketball a career, which is all he can ask for at this point. Salute, much respect, but for these reasons, his growth was stunned. It's your boy JC Stunned Growth, and I'm out.